Hello, this is Cherubim and I'm Hansi and we're going to give you a short demo of the current development status of OSCE Studio. Okay, so at the moment you need two applications to use OSCE Studio. First you start OSCE Studio itself and then you also start Blender and you can connect Blender to OSCE Studio. So here we have a bunch of shapes. I have a cube and a cone and a low resolution torus. And I just press the connect button and it sends the shape over to the three different channels. On each channel you have a lot of options and plugins and we'll come to this in a bit. You saw I already changed the frequency to 50 Hz, which always makes a nice tone and the volume slightly lower. One of the plugins is Rotate which rotates any shape in 3D space and it also comes with some automation a tiny LFO thing that you can use to rotate an axis all the time um, when you hit E on the keyword this is a bit cryptic now but it will probably be a context menu then you move the parameter to the timeline where you can animate it and repeat the same animation over and over. So you see the timeline is 8 seconds long and it will repeat the 2 second fragment. Okay, so I'm almost happy with this. The motion I think is already good. Now let's change the volume a little bit to give it some kind of beat structure. And then we add a tiny after after beat, the aftershock. <laughs> Now we get to the second shape and I do the same thing again, uh, turn up the frequency, turn up the volume and then, okay so this is the the preview, you can see it's it's very different from what you see on the oscilloscope because the preview is really in a, in a bad state, it needs some, some code changes and some fixing. Okay, so let's add some more parameters to the timeline and try to fill up those segments which are not yet used so we don't have two shapes playing at the same time if possible. Otherwise you get a, a crazy mess which can be fun but it's much harder to control. And again, we add some rotation. Uh, the arrow button changes the duration of the timeline. Now we have 8 seconds and it's not repeating, it's just one long clip. The way this works is definitely gonna change. to the third and last shape the torus for this I'm using the flower plugin which repeats the same shape 
uh, a couple of times depending what you have the slider set to it's a bit too silent all right so here we have four and I'm going up to six repetitions of the same shape You can hear it change the sound and that is because when you repeat the same pattern in a way you have the same signal playing six times as fast so you get an overtone. And we had some uh, again some some fixed rotation that rotates all the time. And now we animate the radius and the volume of the flower. Alright, let's listen to it all at once. There are a lot of plugins which are not shown yet but here's one of them the bit party which restricts the position of the vertices to sort of fixed points depending on what you set the not mad slider to and currently this effect is applied to the cube let's try another the chris clip i uh, can restrict the size um, of the shape. Alright, thanks for watching. For those of you who purchased the uh, Ostsee Studio add-on to the Kickstarter, you will get the software once the album is released. And of course, it's actively being developed, so lots of things will change. Thanks, bye.